Good morning, I'm Earth Doctor Reese Halter, and you're listening to EarthCastSOS.com. California's epic drought is annihilating our magnificent forests. In Southern California, including the Southern Sierra Nevada Mountains, the U.S. Forest Service estimates that 12 million mature pines and oaks have died in just the last year. Lack of snowpack and rainfall are starving our forests, and those forests are sitting ducks for billions of native bark beetles. In turn, dead forests are now standing tinderboxes, highly susceptible to forest fires. As the drought deepens, my colleagues are predicting that millions more trees will die over the course of the upcoming summer, and that the beetle epidemic will expand and eclipse the 2002 to 2004 feeding frenzy. As the forests dry, the tree's only defense mechanism, gooey pitch, also dries up, and the ravenous beetles smell the distressed trees. Female beetles move in first, invade the pines, and then call in males. They breed, feed, and move on. Millions of dead trees across California are the unintended consequences of the climate crisis. Across western North America, we have lost 30 billion mature trees as temperatures have risen by as much as 3.6 degrees Fahrenheit in the mountains over the last decade. This is disastrous because these mature trees regulate snowpack melt that in turn feeds the mighty Colorado River and sustains cities like Las Vegas, Phoenix, Tucson, San Diego, Los Angeles, and California's Central Valley that leads the State of the Union with $44.7 billion in agricultural sales. Also, those mature trees are the most perfect carbon dioxide warehouses to have ever evolved on our planet. Let me remind you, for every one ton of mature wood, they have removed one and a half tons of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and released one ton of oxygen. It's imperative to protect all remaining living ancient forests on our planet. We require a global moratorium on logging ancient forests. Those ancient forests are helping us fight the climate crisis. Instead of senselessly destroying them, they could be rented for their vast carbon dioxide warehouses to help offset rising fossil fuel emissions. Instead of subsidizing coal, oil, gas, and fracking $5.6 trillion annually, as disclosed last week by the International Monetary Fund, some of the monies could be paid to countries like Indonesia, Brazil, the Congo region, and elsewhere to keep our ancient forests alive. We need all ancient forests protected now. In the meantime, please reduce your fossil fuel footprint and support the okraproject.org because they're making EarthCastSOS.com possible. I'm Earth Doctor Reese Halter, reminding you to protect our planet.